All right, you guys ready? Ready? Come on. It's a highlight of their week. Fonzie, come on. Come on, Zeph. Every week, when these pups go on an outing, well, scratch that, an adventure with Adventure Pet, an area business that picks up your dog. Take him out for an adventure, so usually about an hour's worth of being out in the hills, and then we drop him off. From hikes to dog paddle dates, this pack gets to do it all off leash. That's the key here. They're getting not only the physical stimulation, but the mental too for the ride in the van and the adventure out here. Troy Herrera and his wife Stephanie, along with their 10 year old daughter Sam, started Adventure Pet not even two years ago. This was supposed to be a little part time gig for me, and it just exploded. They started with a dozen dogs, and now with a team of trainers, they run about 200. With access to three large private properties in the area, these pups get to explore. But you'll notice they're always within close range. 11, 12, 13, good. While the pooch playdates are fun for the dogs and trainers alike. Sometimes I throw the ball for the dogs. Sometimes I rub their bellies for them. It's also exercise while their owners may be at work. And in some cases, it helps rehabilitate the dogs too, like Zephyr. This program helped the long-coated German Shepherd recover after ACL surgery. Plus, her mom, Valerie, says it's done wonders for her spirit. She's a wonderful dog, but she needs a lot of action and movement and attention. And, and although I could walk her on a leash, you know, maybe up to five days a week, she needed to really get out and run. Veterinary surgeon Krista Chaffee echoes the health benefits, not just post-surgery, but also for socialization from puppies to seniors. A middle-aged dog, same thing. They want to have some excitement. They don't want to be left at home all day while you're working. And even the older guys, you know, arthritis only gets worse when you sit, sit around and do nothing. Which is never the case here. If they're not tired, if they're not finding a bush to lay in before we're even done, which tells me that they're pooped, I haven't done my job. Some dogs come out twice, three times, even five days a week. And if not? The owners will send us pictures of their dogs waiting by the door. They all know their days and they all know their times of when they're going. And if they don't get to go, the owners usually pay the price for that.